launches upon us, my friends, and throughout the day, as more and more regions of the world have the ability to jump in and play the full Black Ops Cold War experience, we're going to be bringing you a ton of content to get you up to speed and ready to jump in with as much information as you can. In this video today, we're going to be kicking off some of our Black Ops Cold War content with a full breakdown of the camos and camo systems you'll be seeing come whenever you boot up the game for the first time. We're going to have a ton of Cold War content here on the channel all throughout the day and, of course, over the course of the next couple of days to weeks. So if you are new, do be sure to hit the subscribe button, especially if you're part of that nearly 64% of viewers who are not subscribed to stay today with all things Black Ops Cold War. We have two or three videos here going on the channel live today and likely double uploads for the next couple of days as well, covering everything you'll need to know. So stick it here so you won't miss a thing. Also, let me know your thoughts down below. What are your thoughts on the camos that we'll be seeing throughout our weapon progression this year? Do you like the base camos? Do you like the return of Dark Matter? Or perhaps you like the alternate of Dark Aether better? Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts down below. But let's talk about camos. Right off the bat, what's up with camos, how many, what kind, what's the mastery like? To begin with, this year with Black Ops Cold War, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing as much as Modern Warfare's 100 plus for each weapon. Each weapon this year that you can unlock and progress will grant you the ability to go through the camo categories of Spray, Stripes, Classic, Geometric, Flora, Science, and Psychedelic. For the most part, these camo categories are unlocked at weapon level 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So relatively more uniform across the board as opposed to this past year's Modern Warfare, camo categories are based upon the individual weapon and that weapon's max rank. So these are a little bit more uniform checkpoints if you want to call them that. Each of these camo categories has five challenges associated with them, so 35 camos per weapon minus the mastery. From there, if you complete all those camo challenges, of course, you end up getting gold camo. If you complete all the challenges for all weapons in the same class, you have diamond camo unlocked. And then, yes, everyone's favorite dark matter returns for completing all camo challenges on all base weapons in the game. Though it is renamed to DM Ultra, which I personally think is a slight nod to some of the campaign references of MK Ultra, DM Ultra, but that's neither here nor there. Now, some of these challenges vary slightly depending on what classification you are using, but for the most part, they are relatively uniform across the board. So for example, let's take the rifle classification here. The spray challenges task you with getting eliminations only, first tasking you with getting 25 with a rifle, upwards of 30. Stripes tasks you with getting headshots, firstly 10, then up to 100 for that final challenge. Classic tasks you with getting five kills without dying with a rifle, first three times, then max of 20. Geometric tasks you with getting long shot kills with the weapon, first five, then up to 75. Flora tasks you with a new challenge type, killing enemies that are detected, stunned, or blind by your score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades. Now, to my knowledge, that means painted by UAV, stunned by grenades, or highlighted by, say, your field mic. You'll be first tasked with getting five kills in that manner, then upwards of 75. The science category tasks you with another new challenge type, shooting and killing enemies that are taking cover from you in multiplayer. From a preliminary perspective, this one seems strange and personally, during our capture session, I didn't get my weapon ranked up to the necessary level 40 in time to unlock the category to get more hands on time to see how easy this is to approach it, but your first task with getting five of those kills upwards then of 50. And finally, psychedelic is a returning challenge field that requires double kills or more, so two or more enemies killed in a rapid succession, five times at its base, and then a max of 25. For the most part, as mentioned earlier, this is a bit more universal in terms of the challenges across the board for most weapon categories, but there are a few exceptions. SMGs and shotguns for the science category have point-blank kills instead of killing enemies while taking cover. Launchers naturally have their own set of challenges revolving around eliminations, destroying equipment, score streaks, and vehicles, getting three kills without dying in a life, destroying ground-based score streaks, destroying aerial streaks, destroying three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game and getting two or more eliminations rapidly. And finally, melees, of course, have challenges revolving around kills, backstabber medals, which are from behind, finishing moves, kills while injured, kills while sliding, kills with an enemy disoriented by a smoke, stun, or other equipment, and then two or more kills rapidly. Once you complete these challenges, you will then be rewarded with gold camo. And again, if you then choose to go and do it all over again for another weapon, either of a different class or of the same, it'll allow you to progress towards overall diamond camo and then ultimately dark matter. In terms of what the camos look like, gold isn't half bad, but it's really only on the body of the weapon. So I would have liked to have seen a little more of the canvas used for this, but diamond ends up carrying that gold aesthetic a little bit more on the extremities of the weapon itself, which is nice. And then the main portion of the weapon is diamond, sometimes extending outwards a little further as well. And dark matter is reactive, similar to what you'd expect. It's one of two camos along with the dark aether camo for zombies that is reactive at launch and is in the base of the game, not including any sort of challenge based 
based blueprints, pre-orders, or special cosmetics. Dark Matter, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing an adjustment here for this in the future because it's a little flat comparative to probably what a lot of people were expecting from the fabled Dark Matter. It lacks that initial pop, if you ask me, that others have had. And while in the preview, it seems to have a little bit more of a metallic glaze to the rest of the body, like the barrels, grips, and mags, it doesn't extend to the other portions of the weapon canvas. So some weapons definitely look better with this than others. But that's the multiplayer side of things. And for the first time, I'm actually kind of intrigued on doing this, not only for MP, but also for zombies, because there are some really cool zombies camos that in years previous have just been simple copy and paste with different color palettes. While the different variations continue on from the current camos that we see in Modern Warfare, the mastery are a little bit different, assuming there is no day one patch that actually adjusts these and changes it over, to which they're pretty cool variants of your traditional gold, diamond, and dark matter. Some you may even like more than the multiplayer version. For zombies camos, you're met with another seven categories of camos, the grunge, liquid, brushstroke, vintage, fauna, topography and infection categories offering up 35 more camo variations again outside of those mastery camos taking our rifle example again stroke tasks you with simply getting kills on zombies with a base of 50 for the first challenge at a max of 2500 liquid tasks you with getting 50 critical hit kills with the weapon at its base and a max of 2500 assuming critical hit is also a headshot Brushstroke tasked you with getting kills with the weapon Pack-a-Punched, which at its base is 50 kills, and then going upwards of 2,500. Vintage tasked you with getting elite eliminations on zombies, references 3 to start going up to 15 for completion. Fauna sees you getting 10 kills rapidly twice to start, and then 10 times to complete. Topography tasks you with getting 3 or more critical hits rapidly on zombies 5 times to start, 25 times to complete. An infection tasked you with getting 20 or more consecutive kills with the weapon two times to start and 10 times to complete it. Now, honestly, while you may see some similar or swapped color patterns, there are also new introductions here that don't make this entirely a copy and paste scenario like Black Ops 4's camos with multiplayer zombies and blackout. And personally, I like that. It gives a reason to play the game, I think, on both fronts, especially if these camos are usable in all aspects of the game, meaning MP can go over to zombies, zombies can go over to MP, and maybe even both going over to Warzone once that integration is accounted for. The mastery is a little different here, though. For this, we have Golden Viper, Plague Diamond, and Dark Aether for our camos. Golden Viper is the gold equivalent with a golden shine to it, but it's more scaled in texture, almost reptilian by design. Still looks pretty cool, but definitely different than just traditional gold. Plague Diamond is a really cool one, perhaps, and I think might actually be the most vibrant camo of the bunch. Pre-release, again, I'm like 99% sure that this is staying and it's not a texture bug, but it's all purple in nature of the diamond design, which looks pretty cool to me. And finally, Dark Aether is the more texturized version, I think, of DM Ultra in this game, so it's more reminiscent of Black Ops 3's Dark Matter, and that's something that may make it pretty appealing for players who really do care about camos. Now, personally, I think it'd be really cool to see a higher tier camo for maybe completing both multiplayer and zombies dark matter, but there's nothing listed here and we just have no idea for at least a little bit of time. If I were to guess, I wouldn't assume there is going to be one, but I think it'd be pretty cool. As for special cosmetics, of course, this is the base fundamentals here. Special cosmetics are going to be introduced with various pre-order incentives, different promotion, different game version exclusives, and such along with other challenges for things like, say, Zombies Onslaught and Seasonal Rank, and will continue to go on, progressing a little bit more of a free design approach to camos as the year progresses. But right now, I think that we have a pretty solid base for our camo systems to interact with and unlock. It's pretty solid. I like these, I think, better than what we had with the base weapon camos from Modern Warfare last year. There's a little bit more vibrance to it, a little bit more life and pop to them, and I like that. But right now, that's where we're at here with that. That is the camo system, how you're going to be able to progress through and get dark matter, and what you'll see along the way within Black Ops Cold War. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys liking these camos? Are you liking maybe even some of the zombies camos here with this? Maybe making you jump over and unlock at least some of those. Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe button as we're on the road to 400,000 subscribers. And of course, we are going to keep you up to date with absolutely any and everything you need to know regarding Black Ops Cold War here. So stick it here on the channel. We've got a ton of content coming over the next couple of days to weeks that you don't want to miss. But if you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those. So if you guys want to check out a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link's in the description below. But all that's that out of the way. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.